Let's take a drag, honey. Hello, Nicole. Yes. Hi, uh, my name is Sue, and I've got a grandson that's in, that goes to the Hammond High, and he is in the same class as Popper. Okay. And um, he's been telling me of the obscene snacks that you've been buying for the students, and I just wanted to say, if you're going to buy the kids stuff, can you at least buy them something fresh and that's not processed for once? What are you, what are you talking about? You've been sending very, very malicious, unhealthy snacks to the children. I haven't sent any snacks to the kids since sophomore year. That's not what my baby said. He said Piper's mama's been sending us that junk food again, and I've been um, eating it. No, I think you need to speak with Mr. Turnipsey, because he hasn't gotten snacks from me since sophomore year. Mm. Um, they did get pizzas and stuff. Who's your grandson? Bobby Joe. Bobby Joe, I have no idea. Who Bobby they need Joe to is. quit feeding them shit like that. Okay, well, they don't have to feed the kids at all. The kids are supposed to supply their own food. Well, you know they're going to eat whatever you put in front of their face. They're young and impressionable. They'd so, eat meth if you put it in front of their face. I mean, you're who, feeding who them is garbage. Bobby, who is Bobby Joe? He's on the trombone. On the trombone. And what, what year is he? He's a junior. A junior. I don't even know who that is. I'm sorry. That's okay. I'll make sure to tell Mr. Turnipseed that you have um, a, a want for Bobby Joe not to eat junk food, but I'm not the one supplying snacks anymore. It's whoever, I think it is um, maybe Carter's grandmother mm. or so. Yeah. I haven't even been able to give him water. He's not accepting it this year. Mm. Yeah, I've been complaining. Yeah, uh, well, they're supposed. we're not supposed to feed them at all, but I don't like to see the kids fall out, like if they're in a parade or something. In years past, they've had kids pass out from low blood sugar. Well, bring a bag of fruit. Uh, why don't you send them some fruit? I do. I mean, I don't, I don't need to be sending anything. I bring bananas I and apples and oranges and such. Yeah, well, send whatever you would like. Feel free. I mean, if Bobby Joe can't eat that, Bobby Joe should know better, whoever Bobby Joe is. Bobby uh, Joe will eat anything he can get his hands on. He's a teenage boy. Well, uh, it's not my job to feed Bobby Joe, and it's not the schools either for band. They're supposed it ain't. To be bringing, they're supposed to be bringing their own water and their own food. I agree. Um, I agree. What, what I do is I send up extra food for kids who aren't able to go home after school so that they'll have something to eat before they have to perform. But if, if you feel a certain way about them eating that, don't let them eat it. Well, you know, you can only do so much. They're, they're old enough to make their own choices, so I want to remove the temptation where it starts. Well, I don't know what to tell you about that. I'm, I'm not going to not send stuff for the other kids that are stuck there without a ride. Uh, but, I mean, like this year so far, I've not sent anything. I did offer him today to send water and stuff, but he's already got that all handled, so I don't know. Uh, all I can do is tell you, I'll tell him that you don't want Bobby Joe eating any food. That's not a like fruit or water. Yeah, you know they and, somebody and, brought uh, somebody brought Twinkies. Uh, well, I mean I've sent Twinkies and stuff like that up there for plenty of years. That's outrageous. That is unhealthy, honey. That's unhealthy. Kind of stuff up there. That that is processed garbage. You should be ashamed of yourself. Are you trying to poison these kids? Are you serious? They're going to end up with a terminal illness by the time they're 20 years old because of this shit. Ma'am, they're not only sent that. They have a sugar option or they have like a water option and fruit option. I don't, I can't control what your grandson who's a teenager is putting in his body. Well, don't tempt him with that shit. Ma'am, I'm not going to stop helping the kids who are less fortunate. You can send healthy options. Send some of them... Fig Newtons or something I'm, healthier. I, I have sent Fig Newtons. I sent other options. I think Bobby Joe might be lying. I think you might need to have a talk with Bobby Joe. I don't know. I can. That's not. The, I that's can, not the only food that's been sent up there. But I will tell you this: I'm not going to keep talking. I well, appreciate your time. Yeah. Send I can Bobby spot Joe a snake in the grass when I see it. 
Mm. Send Bobby Joe whatever you want Bobby Joe to eat. I do. That's the best way to handle I don't it. need you to tell me how to be a memo. I got I, this covered. I don't covered. need you to tell me what I can and can't send for other kids. Like, well, just, I think you do. Just, You're trying to I poison think, them. I think what you need to do is send up healthy options. How about that? Come I do. Be healthy option lady. I do. Well, that's good. So then Bobby Joe shouldn't have any problem eating it. Well, we all need to be on the same board, same bus. We all need to quit sending them that processed shit and send them the organic stuff. They have to ask permission to eat. So if you haven't given permission, that's something you need to take up with, I guess. I mean, if they need a note saying that he's not able to eat, you need to provide that to the school board or to the school so they know not to give it to them. Mm -hmm. if, if they've never been given any information about what you don't want them eating, I mean, how are they supposed to know if the kids say they can have it? I just thought I'd take it to the source because I know you're poisoning their poor, impressionable brains with that GMO and that processed shit and them high fructose corn syrups. Well, okay. I, I don't feed Bobby Joe. Bobby Joe isn't my responsibility or my kid. I don't know what you want me to do. I'm just calling to tell you like it is, honey. Tell me like it is? Yes. Well, I'm going to tell you like it is. Feed your own grandson. I do. I don't need you telling me how to I raise my grandson. I don't need you telling grandson. me, ma'am. Thank you, though. Thank you. Bye-bye. It's Linda, uh, L Linda Lou. Yeah. Hey, Linda. My name is Sue Dillon. Um, I know you don't know me, but I am currently in a romantic relationship with Todd. Yes. Oh, my God. Do you know him, or were you acquainted with him? Yes, I was. Okay. I thought you might have been with... How did you know that? I've seen a couple of things laying around that I thought, you know, meant that y'all had been together. Wow. But... Uh, yeah. Yeah, anyway, I um, I got your number out of his phone because something really strange has been happening to me. Uh, my, don't trust him. Okay, don't trust him. I really don't, and that's why we're on the phone right now. Well, I'm blown away. Okay, well, you know, uh, I really can't say nothing. Uh, I don't know. I... Well, well, listen to this. I, my panties have been going missing. Well, he stole all my panties. He stole your panties? Yep. That's where all these panties are coming from then, because I've seen panties around the house that don't belong to me. Are you living with him? No, I don't live with him, but I'll go over there sometimes, you know, when we hook up. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, I haven't seen him in years. Yeah, you ain't missing much. He's very selfish and bad. Well, I know that. I know that. Uh, yeah, he stole all my fucking panties. He stole my fucking keys. He got in my house took all my panties. I had no panties. He I, took all my clean, dirty, fucking... I had no panties. Yes. Uh, he stalked me. He's, he's a stalker. Oh. He's a, a stalker big big time. Yikes. Let me tell you this, okay? Yeah, he's a fucking nightmare. Yeah, he is. You know, I just... I've never got a big O from him between me and you. He might, he loves to munch on my carpet, but how'd you get my number? Oh, you got his number out, out of his phone book. He still got my number in there. Yep. <laughs> really? Yep. And wow, you. That blows my mind. Uh, you know, I hate to say anything bad about him because you know that's in my past. Yeah. You know what I mean? Well, he's gonna be in my past soon. I'm gonna break up with him probably tomorrow. Well, put it this way: it's not a good day. It's not a good thing, Kate. Okay? It's not a good thing. It's uh, nothing good about it, I agree. Not, not good. It's he's not got good. the girth and the length, but honey, that's all he's got. He's what? I said he's got a little bit of the girth and a little bit of the length, but that's all he's got, and it ain't worth it. Is he still working? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, he hmm. still works. He works at so Walmart he's now. He's got your house, and he's got his house. Well, he used to peek through my windows and shit. That's freaky as who. Let me tell you what. Don't fucking trust him. I walked out when my stuff started going missing. I was like, "Who? Hey, no." He will be peeking. He is a stalker. He's a stalker. He's a fucking. He'll peek in your windows. Uh, he he stalked me for I don't know how long. 
he got different vehicles because I didn't know what he had after he got rid of his car. But everywhere I went, he fucking showed up. Okay, uh, he was a fucking nightmare. I'm sorry that happened to you. And uh, it took me oh over a year to get ready that I know of. He might have been still stalking me with a different vehicle or something, but I didn't know it. You know he what was I'm a doing. nightmare. I am going you know, to. I don't, don't tell him I said that. I, okay. No, I won't I mention your name. Or, uh, well, I don't live at the same place I used to, okay, so. I won't me, mention but, your uh, name to him. You're safe. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I did race boats with him and shit, you know what I mean? Yeah. That was all good. But as far as a relationship, oh, honey, you got to move on. Yeah, you know, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a massive shit in his commode tomorrow. I ain't gonna flush it, cause he don't even go in that extra bathroom. It's gonna smell like a raw sewage plant in that house. Is he, and then I'm gonna living? dump him. Um, he's living up on the corner of Market Street. I don't know if that's where he lived when he was with you. Market. Yeah. Oh, in Lodi. Yeah. Oh, okay. See, I don't, I have no clue. His mom was still alive and stuff when I was seeing him. Yeah. She's a pain in the ass. I've heard. Well, she died. Okay. Yeah. She I've died, never right? her. Yeah, she's a pious. Unless he lied to me about that, too, because he's a liar. No, she's pious. Yeah. Okay, so his brother's still around? Yep. Yeah, his brother tried to sleep with me. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Did I ask Jenny? <laughs> I almost took him up for it, but I said, no, I got morals. Well, yeah, some, some, uh, some people's got morals left, you know what I mean? Very few of us. I mean, very few oh, of us. Way that you called me to ask me about him. Yeah, you know, I just wanted to know about the panties. That was the biggest thing because I've got expensive underwear that I've had for years that were my favorites and they're gone. And what? What's your name? Sue. Sue. Yeah. Well, Sue. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that should tell you something. Yeah. It should. Okay. He took all my panties. I had no panties. That's ridiculous. This is when. This is when. Uh, uh, what was it, fucking, uh, uh, that talk, that lady, that lady that used to talk on the talk, had a shit, a talk show shit, uh, whatever. Is it like, Ellen? Oh, my God. Huh? It, not Ellen. No, not Ellen. It was, uh, oh, years for... and years ago, she had some dude on there that was gay, and, and then the guy went and killed this other guy that took him on the show and shit. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it's been... Since 96 or 97. Okay, yeah. It's been how long it's been. Jenny Jones. Huh? Jenny Jones. Jenny Jones, that's it. Jenny Jones. It was on Jenny Jones, yeah. Um, anyway, I said, wow, this is Jenny Jones shit. You know what I mean? It is some like, Jenny Jones. Shit. Yeah, yeah he some Jenny he, Jones shit. He, uh, he took my car keys and he was real possessive. It's like, uh, oh yeah, it was. Let me tell you, you better bounce out now, girl. I'm bouncing. I'm bouncing tomorrow, honey. You know my plan. I'm doing, and you ain't gonna come up out of yeah, pour it out of my mouth. I got married to Vicky. I thought I got married to Vicky. This girl, Vicky. They got divorced. Oh, they got divorced. Don't believe nothing he says. He might not ever marry her. I didn't even ask him. He he wouldn't. You know, he'd really he'd haul it around. He'd really tell me shit. Yeah. Uh, he was <clears throat> stupid as yeah. He's uh he's got mental fucking he's got mental problems for women, okay? He does. He told me that him and Vicky broke up because she wouldn't keep a bush. She shaved it clean and he don't like clean shaving women. Oh, is that right? That's well, what that's he said. Right. Is that right? He never said anything Wow, well, that's a trip, okay. Um now what the fuck is that, right? I know, I mean like who are you? Tell you something. Who were you to say what what a woman's like, loins you know, that's look a like? Personal shit, you know. If you want me to shave it, or if you don't, okay, whatever. But why would you tell anybody something about that? Did he say anything about me? He's never mentioned you. Like I said, I found you in his phone, and I saw some little some notes and such with your name on it, and romantic type notes that I thought might indicate that y'all dated. Notes. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know we. We uh, got pictures and shit together, yeah. you know, which uh, yeah. I have still, you know what I mean? Yeah, This is I my get past, it. though. He's a, he's a past. Okay, but let me tell you right now, he's a fucking there, girl. You better bounce out now. 
all right, I'm going to, and you're not going to come up out of my mouth. He ain't, he, you know, I'm going to keep you yeah, safe. Don't say, mention my name because I don't want him knowing anything about me. I don't know. I don't want him back around me, okay, at all. Uh, he was a nightmare. He was, uh, he was a nightmare, put it that way. Yeah, I know. And uh, I was even with some, you know, and I had an abortion and shit from him. Mm. Uh, I did. And when I was in another relationship, it comes in comes over my house and my boyfriend. Yeah, she hadn't divorced him. Like, shut the f You know what I mean? He like, overshares. He, he shares shit got, that ain't he, his to share. He's but really got, he's got problems. You don't need to worry, honey. I gotta get off here because he's calling up my phone right now, but I'll talk to you later. Oh, he'll blow your phone up. He, he never fucking quits calling. He's called me five times already. Oh, he my phone up. Do not let him get my, oh, hell no. No, I won't, like, I won't I, mention it. Don't, don't. Alright, Sue. Sue, uh, <laughs> it cracks me up. It uh, was, this made my day. I have to fucking laugh about this shit. I know. Okay, you, sometimes like, you, you just gotta laugh. You need to out of this relationship, girl. I'm telling you what, he is a fucking bear. He will stalk you. He will fucking... He stalked me after he stole my panties and everything. He stalked me because I dumped him in and he... And I worked where he worked, okay? So, uh, she is. oh, he Oh, he was... He, you need to get rid of him. I'm I'm glad you made it out, darling, but I'm going to talk to you later. Yeah, okay. Bye, honey. Bye. Bye. Hello, Angela. How are you doing? I'm, I'm good. I wish I could say the same. Um, I hate to be calling you under these circumstances, but um, people said they saw your daughter. Is it Gianna? Yeah. She hit my car, and she ran off. Um, the other day and left a note with her license plate on it. I finally got your number. I've been what? trying to get in touch with Gianna. She Are ain't you, answering. Uh, may I ask your name? My name is Sue Dillon. Sue? How do you spell your last name? Let me get a pen so I can write it down and everything. S-U-E. Okay. D-I-L-L-O-N. I'm sorry, I'm really emotional because I spent a lot of money on this car. Uh, uh, yes, ma'am, I, I understand. <laughs> I'm going to uh, help you. Uh, we'll figure this out. I have no idea. Um, I had. When did this happen? It was yesterday. What kind of car was she in? I don't know, honey. I was inside. I was inside the truck stop and I was servicing a man. I'm a lot lizard, so I park my car in gas station parking lots often. Yes. And when I came back out, it was just rent. Oh, no. <sighs> um, Do you know how many people I sucked off to buy this car? Oh, my gosh. Do you live in Victoria? Yes. What kind of, um, car, do you want to tell me what kind of car you have? Do you have insurance? What did, how did you get her name? She left a note and I have a Porsche. It's a 1997 Porsche and I don't have insurance on it. Okay. <clears throat> okay. What, what color is your Porsche? Red. Okay. And you have no idea what kind of car she hit you with? No, I just came out to the note, and I've done a lot of searching to get your number, and it's just okay. travesty. Uh, yes. Um, huh. have you called the police? I don't, I'm scared to, because... How, okay, okay, how much damage? The whole front of it's just abominated. Do you want to send me a picture? I can. Can you send it to my phone, and then... Get a hold of her. Uh, what store was it at? You said the truck stop. Okay. On uh, Love. Highway? Yes. Or, or Bloomington. Yeah, Bloomington. Okay, by the um, McDonald's? Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you know about what time it was? Shit. Um, I had been with a man named Harold before then, and I had just got a 
Whopper from the McDonald's, so it was around supper time. It was probably about 7.30 p.m. Okay. Um, did you, were you able to drive it home? Yeah, the tires were a little bit rickety, but I made it home. Yes. Um, let, let me get a hold of her, and then if you can send me a picture. I will. And I'm going to get a hold of her older sister, too. Okay, thank you. Uh, and then uh, I may have Heaven. I have an older daughter named Heaven. That's her older sister. Mm. Um, I may have her call you back. She's she's good with talking and and can help us get through this. Thank uh, you, she, thank you. That's um like I said, send me a picture, and then um I'm sure you're gonna have to get a where you can estimate. Thank you so much. I mean, it's just a lot of hard work to get a nice car like this, you know? Yes. Just just send me if you can. Send me the picture, and I'm going to send it to her older sister while I get a hold of Gianna. I'm, I'm glad she did leave a note. Thank God she did that part. I know. I just, you know. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, okay. Send me a picture, and I'm going to uh, get a hold of her and her older sister. Thank you. Uh, Hello, this is Wes. Hello, Wes. <clears throat> Are you the owner of the Black Pug? Uh, say it again? Are you the owner of the Black Pug? Uh, I, no, I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm kind of confused on what you're, you're asking. Are you the owner of the Black Pug? I don't, I cannot, where, where is this located? That's interesting because I've seen you with it. Um, I live on the same road as you. Bought a silly drive. Where? Bought a silly drive, baby. Uh, where are you located? I live a few houses down from you. And that dumbass black pug has been coming in my yard, opening up its asshole. And I know you know good and well that you don't pick up the shit. And that's why I'm calling. This has to stop. Are you, what's your name? My name is Sue. I'm the lady that's sitting on her porch smoking Virginia Slims all the time. Where, where at? I live on Bocelli Drive. Damn, are you listening to a word that's coming out of my mouth? Man, I can barely understand anything you're saying. That's, I that's live big... on Bocelli Drive. What state? Why are we playing this dumbass game? I live in Florida. Okay, well, I'm in Vermont right now, so I don't know. Okay, well, that about. pug's been shitting in my yard for the past three weeks, and I have had it to high heaven. The dog? Yes. So you're talking about my fiance's dog? I don't know who it belongs to specifically, but it's from the house you live in. That black pug. Oh, it's funny how all of a sudden... You are related to this fiend. Well, I because I'm getting I'm getting information from you because again you're just throwing things at me right now. No, no, see. no! Don't play dumb, honey. We both know you're smarter than that. Oh, I know I'm smarter than that, but yeah. who, act how like how it. Do you even get my phone number? That's none of your damn business. The only thing that's your exactly. business is so getting you can, the you shit. Can go the hand. Get the shit my out of my yard. No, you're and okay. Here's what's dog gonna shit. do. I'm going to put it in one of them boxes at the USPS, them, them boxes that you can just pack shit in, flat flat rate or something like that. What, what, how, and I'm going to mail it to your ass. What house number do you live in? What's your address? I'm not going to tell you. I ain't telling you where I live. Exactly. So you don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. I know what I'm talking about, but I don't trust men like you. I don't even know who the fuck you are. I don't trust all. men like you. But don't you ever call my fuck again. If you got a problem, take it up with the HOA. No, it's not the HOA's business. It's your business because you know you should be picking up after your animals and you're not. She does. She Rah. does. You're making me anxious. Rah. When I get anxious, I burp. Yeah, I don't even know who the fuck you are. I don't even know what address you live in. I don't even know what house. The well, fact. Please, she walks outside and right here next to my house. That's it. She doesn't even go any further than that. The so fact that you the use. Do you what, know what, how old so I am? The fact that you use the F word with an elder speaks volumes to me. It yeah, it speaks, speaks volumes. volumes to me too that you can you you can uh, 
you're, you're stuttering. Really you're at a loss for words because you know you're wrong. Because you're, you're, I'm in Vermont right now. And I, don't I don't give a shit about. what state you're in. Your dog's asshole still here. Shit. Oh my god. Hello. Hey, are you the one with the little wiener dog? No. Well, this is Rick, ain't it? This is Rick, yeah. Yeah, the neighbor said that that wiener dog belonged to you. It bit me on the leg the other day when I when it got out. Um, maybe it's a different Rick. We have a, a German Shep and a Golden Retriever, but that's all we have. Hmm. I live in the cul-de-sac. I'm the neighbor across the cul-de-sac. I'm pretty sure I, this is another issue I have with y'all. I'm pretty sure that you stole my trash can one time. <laughs> Yeah. You're the ones with them cars that park at your house all the time, aren't you? Them way too many damn cars over there. We we, uh, we sold it on eBay. That's where it went. And you're not even going to give me a cut. No. <laughs> That's some bullshit. <laughs> you just wait. They're trying to formulate an HOA. And when they do, I'm going to be the president. And I'm going to roast your ass. I'll vote for you. Thank you. Who is this? My name is Sue Dillon. You live in my neighborhood? Yes. Excuse me? Yes, I live across the cul-de-sac. No, this is a prank call. You wish it was. You're busted, honey. You busted. <laughs> okay. Who owns that damn winter dog? I want to know if I need to go get a tetanus shot. Um, I don't know who the f you're talking to, and I don't know who you're talking to like this, but... Um, what do you mean? I ain't being hateful. You're borderline disrespectful and about to find out who you are and kick your ass. Well, guess what? Borderline ain't actually, so I can be borderline disrespectful hey, if hey, I want to. Hey. I ain't playing, man. I don't like calls from people I don't know talking like this. Oh, my God. You need to I'm grow up. Grow some man. hair on your balls. Are you serious, or are you going to be f Brown. Grow some hair on your balls, honey. Not not everything is that serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not. But you're calling me in my home. And, I want to know whose damn wiener dog got loose and bit me on the leg. Is that too much to ask? I don't have a wiener dog. Who owns your damn wiener dog? I heard your broad in the background I saying who owns it. I don't have a wiener dog. Who owns it? Because I heard your hussy back there saying who owns it. So tell me. Out him. I'll tell you what. Why don't you meet me out front? That's crazy. Yeah, she knows you're crazy. I heard her, Ricky, 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 calm the hell Dude, down. Are you a man or a woman? <clears throat> That's for you to find out, ain't it? I bet either way, I got a bigger pecker than you ever will have. You said your name, but I don't know what it was. Is it Millie or Willie or Sue? Sue Dillon? Yes, asshole. Who the hell are you? I don't know, but I saw what you're packing to the window one time, and it was one of them little button billies, honey, so you don't need to be saying nothing about my sexuality. What are you, what, what is she? Hey, I'm gonna go, okay? I hope you have a blessed yeah. evening. If you find out whose winter dog that is, you tell me, please. Oh, I definitely will. Yeah, I bet you will. What's up? Hey, baby, uh, do you do photography? Yes. I was wanting to book you for a session. Okay. Um, what kind of photo shoot is that? It's for, I, I breed dachshunds, wiener dogs, you know. They're in heat, and I was wanting to do it real soon when they're still in heat. Try to get a couple of action shots for my Facebook page. Susan's Doxies. Okay. So what kind of, sorry, I didn't really get you real good. What kind of photo shoot is that? I want it to be a promotional photo shoot for my puppy mill. I, I breed dogs and wiener dogs. Oh, okay. okay. I want you to get a couple of action shots of them fornicating for the Facebook page. Okay. Um, when... I've got ten. <laughs> five girls, five boys.
and their brothers and sisters, but we don't need to talk about that. Okay. Um, when are you looking to shoot? Um, very soon, because a lot of my females are in heat. Okay. Um, how many hours are you? do you think this shoot is going to be? Do you want it to be inside the studio or outside? It's going to have to be in my single wide. I can't haul all these to your studio. Okay. Um, how many hours? It probably just an hour max is all you'd need. An hour? Yes. Okay. All right. I charge, uh, is this in Charlotte or outside yep. of Charlotte? It's in Charlotte, baby. All right. I'm, I'm going to be, um, if it's one hour, so it's going to be $250. Shit. Um, oh. That's expensive. Is that expensive? Yes. Hell, in this economy. Huh? In this economy. <laughs> I know. That's crazy. I can I can actually give you a discount. How much? And I can give you a discount. Um, How much? I normally, I normally charge two fifty an hour. But I will do a hundred and fifty dollars since it's just a couple of shirts. Oh well. Okay, now we're you're talking my language. <laughs> um. So, do you have a date in mind? The location? Can you send all that to me? <clears throat> uh, yeah. Could you come tomorrow? Say that again. <clears throat> what about tomorrow? Um, I can do Tuesday and on Monday. Okay. I'll take you my address. Okay. Um, the, I, do you have any ideas that you have that you can send so I can look, see, and have an idea of what you oh, want yes. to do? Oh, yes. I've gotten a lot of action shots of them already, but it's just with my flip phone camera, so it's a little bit blurry. But, yes, I'm wanting it to be a lot of pictures of the humping. No problem. Um, can you just send me uh, just send me the photos, um, ideas that you have, even if it's blurry. I want to see what you have in mind. If you can send it right now, um, okay. that'd be good. <clears throat> Deal. And also, and then also for the payment, it's going to be uh, fifty dollars down payment. Uh, okay. Not refundable in case if you cancel. Um, I accept Zell or cash. Uh, I do cash Zell. Okay. Uh, Yes. Could I just, could I try something else for the down payment? I would like to give you a blowjob in place of the $50 down payment. You know, that hawk tour, like it's big. See, you on social media right now. Are you, are you gay or are you straight? Huh? Sheila? Yes? How are you doing? Good. Who is this? My name is Sue. Um, I know Todd. You know Todd? Yeah. Um, oh. We met at a truck stop. You know, Love's Truck Stop. Okay. We met on the full moon last month. I was doing my $5 full moon special. Anything in the rear is $5. And he gave me your number. <laughs> he said you were trying to get into the trade yourself. <laughs> All right, you can lose my number. Don't be bashful. Hello? Hey, Janice, I didn't know if you'd be up or not. What? I didn't know if you'd be up or not. Who is Um, It's Sue Dillon. We used to be friends back in the day, Janice. We just ain't spoken years, but I I remember. I don't know if you remember this, but I remember in high school one time you had a yeast infection for three weeks straight. A yeast infection. I remember you having to go to the nurse for that, and I was wondering how you cured it because I've had one that I keep getting and it keeps coming back, and I didn't know if you had any home remedies for it. Yeah. Nope, I don't, I don't even know you, 
My cooter is chafed, Janice. You surely got something you can give me, a pearl of wisdom. No, I don't, really, and I don't know you, sir. It's a, you know, I'm not sorry. Janice, I'm, not a, I'm a woman, person. Janice. I'm a woman, Janice. Did you just call me sir? You sound like a woman. I am a woman. I, I mean, you sound like a man. I'm sorry, honey. Forgive well, me. Janice, I didn't know you, didn't know you were That is awful to say to somebody, Janice. I've been smoking cigarettes for a long time, and that's the effects. Back in the day, we didn't know it was going to make us sound like this, but you know... I don't appreciate being called a man. I well, surely so wish I was. Me. I, just, I was just so sure because the boys kind of put me in mind of a man. I know. So I get that me. a lot. I'm a woman, though. We used to be friends. I'm, I'm not a man. I have a yeast infection. They don't even I, get I, yeast I infection. Friends. What made us friends? We were friends in math class. You don't remember? No, because I, I, I didn't know what school down here. I didn't Can you either. tell me where, you went, where, where I was uh, in math class with you, babe? Yes, honey. We were in the middle school together in the math class. No, no. I'm 82 years old. So am I. And I know I don't know you because I'm not even from uh, where I live. You know what? I didn't, even, I didn't get that high in school until way after I had left my nativity from home. Well. So I was, and we went to, I went to a black, all black school. And I know you sound like you're a white person. Why would you right? think? Why would you think I'm a white person? Cause I know you white. I can tell you. I know you. I know your culture. I know the way you talk. You're not black. I. I'm at a loss for words. Why you would think I'm white? She and a man. Like it to me. Well, you thought I was a man earlier, Janice. I don't think you have I'm a good sorry, judge. But I'm telling you one thing. I ain't no dummy. I'm a minister. I've been all around the world. I never said you were a dummy, Janice. I and think I you're very tell smart. You this, uh, That's uh, why I was asking for my for advice for my yeast infection. Well, you go. You'll probably have to go to the doctor, and the doctor he cure you can cure up a yeast infection so quick. They Maybe ain't. They ain't done you're it. Eating that's causing that yeast infection. Yeah. And if you don't get it under control, try to get it under control. Sometimes milk, cheese. Sometimes you milk tolerant. That'll cause a yeast infection. I and never knew that. There are things that will cause, but I'm not a doctor. Okay. Go to a medical doctor. I did, and they didn't cure it. They just rushed me in and rushed me out. All they want to do is try to get me to quit smoking. Well, that may be it. Stop smoking. I've been smoking my whole life, Janice. I'm not going to quit well, now. Well, no. If you can get over it, I was a smoker, too. Okay. But you know who delivered my smoking attitude and spirit? It no. was God. Overnight, I, I quit smoking. I was a chain smoker. Yeah. He ain't done I that for smoke, me yet. I'd be putting one down and lighting another one. Putting one down and lighting another one. It started me where I couldn't breathe. And my, my lungs was full of smoke. I'm glad you made it out. So when I went to the Lord and asked for prayer. I go to the Lord and ask and he's still. Away. Hey, I'm and still chain to... smoking, Janice. Huh? I'm still chain smoking. I pray every night. But I love it. I don't even he, want to give it up. God, you. I want to be I mean, able. I hope He lets me bring them into heaven, honey. I don't think I could even go without them there. No, you can't have them in heaven. You won't even go to heaven. I'm you going to heaven. To I'm so, going so to heaven, can, Janice. You, you can't. You have to get rid of them here. The Lord, if you go to Him, He'll deliver you of them. Cause He's not going to let no smokers and nothing else that's unclean to God. You ain't gonna let no smokers in heaven. What you're doing when you're smoking, you're destroying your temple. And he won't. He said, "Don't destroy. Don't you destroy your temple." Well, Janice, I don't know what to say to that. Um, well, if you could just pray for me. I will. What is your name? Sue. Sue. Yes. I will pray for Sue. I will call on Sue. Thank you. On the name of the Lord for Sue, and it's nothing too hard for God. He can deliver. That's what's called deliverance. Thank you. <clears throat> I yeah, want you to know, Dennis, that I, lo I love your spirit. Well, thank God for that. Because, you know, we reach out to God. We, God is our everything. Jesus, in other words, God is the spirit, and he is our father. Amen. But Jesus is our brother. Amen. And he come to deliver us. He don't want us to be sick with nothing. 
Amen. And he will come and we'll just ask him. He said, just ask, ask me, ask. He said, that's what I'm here for. That's what I died for. Jesus, please get these cigarettes out of my mind. He will do it. Lord, I command it. Give this woman, Lord, a deliverance in Jesus' name. It's nothing too hard for you. Let that be a sign to her that you want her to come to heaven. That you are making a way for her to come to heaven. Lord, get that in her heart and let her reach out to you and take this desire for that unclean thing, which is a cigarette, which is against you because that poison in that cigarette will kill you. I'm still but living God there. is with you, and this right here, if you just believe it, Lord, I believe, start rejoicing. Lord, I know you're going to help me. I know you're going to take this thing away from me. You're going to cause it to go. It's a demon. It's a force of evil. Amen. But Jesus, Jesus Christ will make you whole because he said I died for every soul. He did. He come out of that mother's womb. I went to the cross for him. He did. And if somebody would tell them about me and bring them to me, he said, I will deliver every soul that I put on this earth. And he, and he does. And he does, honey. Yes. Amen. Give your heart to God. Tell, ask the Lord. And, and tell God, I believe in you. I trust in you. And start confessing Jesus. Confessing. And Jesus said, if you'll come to me and ask me, just ask me to save you. He said, I'll save you just like that. Thank you, Janice. I, I didn't expect this call to turn into this, but you know, the Lord works in mysterious ways. He works in one way he works. Let me tell you, the way he works is when you believe on him. He said, if you believe on the name of Jesus, you start calling on my name. Only my name, he said, will get you out of trouble and save you. Yes. And get, get you ready to come home with me because that's where your home is. This place right here is not your home. No. If you're preparing to see him, he'll make a way for you to come there. That means we get all our ugly stuff out of us that we know is in us. We're going to try to get it out. And the Lord said, then I will sanctify you holy enough for you to come with me. Praise be. Yes. Have faith in God. Be confident. God can deliver you. You don't have to be smoking that cigarette. Throw that thing away. I Just say, I'm... Lord, I'm sorry that I have hurt my body all these years. Forgive me. My body is your temple. That's that's not mine to keep. It's your temple. You live. You want to live in here. Am I going to smoke you out? I want to smoke you out here? No. Now faith in God. I have about ten left in this pack. I think I'm going to finish them tonight, and I'm not going to do it no more. Well, you say you're not going to do it no more, and the devil going to beat you. He's going to try to wear you. know you want some cigarettes, but tell him you're a lie, devil. Oh. I ain't, I'm not believing you. You are a lie. I'll Fight tell him. him. Fight Satan, you ain't giving me that desire no more. I'll tell him. All right. Thank you, Janice. Okay. I hope All you right. have a very blessed night and a beautiful sleep. Okay.